here at CHESS 2015 in Montreal, Thomas Baldrick with Dr. Fraser Rubens, cardiac surgeon at the University of Ottawa Heart Institute and professor in the Division of Cardiac Surgery at the University of Ottawa. Thanks for having us here in your country. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the CHESS meeting. Oh, very, very much so. Um, you had a presentation here. Let's talk about um, new insights regarding surgical intervention in CTEF. Therapy for patients who have operable disease has been pretty well defined by the remarkable work and pioneering work by the team at UCSD and there's very little that has changed in terms of a tried and true operation. It involves what we call a median sternotomy, a split in the chest, cardiopulmonary bypass, the heart-lung machine and cooling the patient down to a very low temperature called deep hypothermic circulatory arrest in order to have perfect visualization and then bilateral both sides exploration of the lungs. So this is tried and true, it works, and it gives a, a, a successful result in the appropriate patients such that we have now definitive therapy. Can you comment on benefits and risks of deep hypothermia circulatory arrest in PEA? A, a major component of the operation involves cooling the patient down to a very low temperature, between 18 and 20 degrees, in order to turn the circulation off. As I often tell patients, it's it's very similar to the situation where you hear stories where a child has fallen through the ice mm -hmm. and then we bring the child out and they're pulseless but we warm them up and they come back to life and and their brain function in many situations thankfully may be restored so in a controlled environment where we can cool the body in a very uh, uh, uniform manner we can do the same thing the reason that we have to do it is that patients with this disease are plagued with a problem called collateral flow. They, they don't have blood going forward to the lungs, so the body compensates by developing collaterals coming in from the sides. And that blood comes backwards into your operative field in the middle of the operation. And the only way to circumvent that is to do what's referred to as deep hypothermic circulatory arrest, where we lower the temperature, we drain the blood out of the body, and, and the patient's circulation stops for periods of 20 minutes at a time. And then we intermittently put the blood back in, recirculate the body, and then do it again until our operation is done, and then we re restore the circulation. What kind of complications does that add to an already challenging surgery? Do you know, um, I'm not sure that it really adds a major component more other than the pure duration of the operation. Mm -hmm. and, and there's really been no evidence that attempts to prevent that have any benefit. It would take a large number of patients, probably around 160 to 200 patients per limb of a trial to prove that an alternative technique would work in terms of, for example, protecting the brain. Mm -hmm. So really we think that the the operation works definitively and if, as long as you keep the length of circulatory arrest to 20 minutes and you restore flow in a religious manner uh, and stick to the rules, the brain outcomes are very, very good. And so I've not been impressed that it's something that we should be tinkering with at this time. Are there benefits to preoperative medical treatment in patients with CTEF? That's a, a great question, and it's something that we talked about today. Uh, the, the new work that's been done with some of the novel medications that can be used in, with patients with pulmonary hypertension suggests that we need to open that question, that it's possible that we could take individuals who are candidates for surgery and that we could treat them for a period of time before the operation and possibly improve their operative outcomes. Uh, it's hypothetical now, there's pros and cons, but I can guarantee you it's something that's worthwhile considering. Very good. Thank you, Doctor. Appreciate your time. Thanks You're for welcome. coming by. Thank you very much.